Hey, welcome back to the channel, and today we have something really exciting, and it's brand new. So, Table Flip Foundry um, has started two new series, and today we're going to cover the first model of one of them. Now, Ty at Table Flip Foundry has agreed to send me these models um, early, so that I can get them out to you, well, get this video done for you guys. Um, I did still have to pay for them, I'm not getting anything for free, I don't have any obligation to do these videos, but I thought it'd be pretty cool, so if you like these models, be sure to head over to Table Flip Foundry Patreon, the link is in the description, and check them out. So there's two series, uh, today we are going to cover Tales of Table Flip. So we have the first model of the month, and this is, let me just pull up the details. This is Nessa Verwood. She, so let me pull in the model. I have the supported and the unsupported version. So I'll pull in the full model just so you can see what she's like. So there she is. This is Nessa Verwood. Now she is a druid who has a profession as an alchemist. Her personality, apparently she's pretty blunt, but she's handy, handy with a needle and gets along well with animals. So you can see she's got a snake in her arms here. I think it's a pretty cool model, and this is the one we're going to start with today. So let's get this onto the printer with the supported version, obviously. Get it glued together and start the painting. Okay, so here is the printed model. Looks pretty cool. Let's prime it black. And now let's dry brush it white. There we are, all the details now highlighted, now ready for our speed paint. So let's get started. We're going to start with pastel lavender. We're going to use that on her skin. So that's her arms, her face, her legs, all that sort of thing. Make sure you do hit that like, subscribe button and turn the bell on for notifications as well. Make sure you get notified of all our future videos on this channel. So yeah, just make sure when using the skin tones, so as the pastel lavender we're using here, that you actually make sure you get all the skin. There was a lot of skin, this bit actually took a little while for me to do. So there's a little bit between her dress, got her two arms, her face, and bits of her legs as well. So I think this part was actually the longest, other than the snake itself, which you'll see a bit later. After the pastel lavender, we are going to do her hair. Now right, that's the lavender finished. So onto the Hive Dweller purple, we'll do her hair. Nice dark purple. I figure with purple skin she can have darker purple hair. I think it looks pretty cool. Now this is the first time using some of these paints. So we're going on to Poppy Red now. We're going to do the underclothes. So she's got a dress with clothes under it. We're going to do Poppy Red on the underclothes. So this is just a quick one. And then her actual dress itself, we're going to use the familiar pink that we saw earlier as well. I wasn't sure about the pink when I started applying it, but I stuck with it, made sure it was on properly, and I think it came out pretty well. This is the first model I've actually used um, colour theory on, so I'm pretty happy with how that came out. Uh, this is a bit of sand golem just for the belt, and then ruddy fur for her boots. And that will finish off Nessa herself. We're going to use maggot skin now. We're going to paint the snake. This took a while. Just try to get all those intricate details. Make sure the whole thing was covered without putting any of the paint on Nessa herself. I did have to actually at the end go and cover up some mistakes. And now we're on to Gilly Jew, which is going to do all the vines that she are on her base. And I believe that's actually the last paint we're going to use. So yeah, there's the model. And next up we'll see some glamour shots. There you are, a completed model. Let me know what you think in the comments. Be sure to hit that like button. And if you want the model, head over to Table Flip Foundry Patreon.